new it's harry from the caravan company this is the other video for your swift challenger 580 so let's begin by turning the power on which you've got your power board just there so you've got power obviously power on which turns on all your two battery lights then obviously on this one you've got your water pump obviously to use your water pump which goes into the aqua roll which is placed outside you will need to press that when you press that you will hear a rumbling sound underneath your bed that is the pump working through then you've got battery select. That just shows the power. That just shows how much voltage you've got in your battery. And you'll see, there you go. View more levels, that's the one. Obviously you've got a spoke alarm, come alarm fit to your caravan. Right, let's go on to your room heater. Room heater, so you've got, this is for your gas, obviously. You turn that over like that, you can hear a ticking. Obviously, you push it down like that until it stops. And then you've got a little pilot hole just there, which you'll see your flame going through when the thing when the fire is lit. Obviously, then you've got your electric, so you've got five settings. You've got one, two, three, four, and five. Obviously, that's obviously your fan. Obviously that is for manual and then that's obviously so you can control the heat yourself and then also that is for automatic so it will set itself. Also above here you've got your ultra store on gas so that's obviously your water, water heater sorry, obviously so, let me get that on there. You've also, so then you click on that, you'd hear it on the left. Underneath your seating area, tick. Obviously a green light is to say that it's on. And obviously a red light is to say there's been a fault. Obviously at the moment it's green, but it will go red because the gas is not on. Obviously you've got settings 70 to 30. Obviously 30 being the lowest, 70 being the hottest. Set it how you want to set it. Then you've got it on a electric. Obviously so you've got 500, 1000 and 2000 watt. Obviously, 1,000, 500 being the lowest, 2,000 being the highest. Obviously, you set it how hot you want it and how fast you want it to heat up. Then, you've got your fridge. You've got a Fitford fridge. So, you turn it on there. Blue light shines up. All loading up, all fine. It's an electric. Obviously, it'll be working now because it's plugged into 230 mains. I'll see this button on the right sets the temperature. Obviously, one being the lowest, being the highest. This button here is to select. Obviously, so you've got gas when you want to use it on gas, uh, and obviously when you you go on battery, so that's when it's hooked up to the back of the car. Obviously, so it keeps it chill. Obviously, when you're travelling to keep all your food obviously nice and nice and cold. Obviously, you hold that button again. Turn off. Now you've got your cooker. Obviously straightforward how to use a cooker. We've all used one. Obviously there you go. You've got one, two, three gas hobs, which are con controlled here, here, and here. And you've got one electric hob. Obviously settings one to six. Obviously then there you've got you've got the grill. Obviously the grill is here in there. And you've got one for your oven, which is obviously in there. Obviously you now you've got a microwave. Obviously all straightforward. You've got power level clock, weight disfro weight defrost. So obviously straightforward as use a microwave. So obviously you've got Obviously your bed area, which is there. Then in here, you've got your toilet, sink, and shower. 